Thank you so much. Uh, just a welcome to Minister Hildegard Nocton in your new role here. Minister, it's great to have you here in Shannon there. And, um, you know, you're representing the Department of Health and you're Minister of State now in your new role for public health, well-being and the national drug strategy. And in your new role, you're coming here to us around the Citizens' Assembly and that we're putting together here around drug use. And Minister, we do need this debate because we can see the impact of drug use on families and communities all across the country. Um, I know we speak here about city centres. It's not just city centres. Every town across Ireland, you can speak to anyone. You will be able to access drug use or drugs and it's not limited to just city centres or urban, like extremely uh, urban areas. Uh, but communities have been devastated by drug use and it is in our towns and I suppose I'm just very conscious of that, uh, you know, and particularly the impacts of, of drugs like alcohol, and never mind, uh, you know, harder drugs, just alcohol on its own, how we as a society even manage and deal with the impacts of alcohol abuse. Every family in Ireland can speak to stories of how that's impacted and destroyed families. Um, Minister, I suppose the Citizens' Assembly that you're putting together here, I'm sure, is going to be looking at a lot of different areas. As you mentioned, it's one lead and over 99 people selected randomly. Um, the terms of reference that you speak of, I, I admire that it's going to be all issues relevant to drug use. I really do believe that that's really important. I mean, it's going to be leading to recommendations, I suppose, and really speaking about the harmful impacts but also in the realms of health, justice and education. You know, it has to be a whole of government response, I suppose, the recommendations that come out of this. And I think for you as a minister, you know, you'll be taking that on board and working with colleagues in government to sort of see what we can implement. And I think the you know, government has shown that it has taken recommendations from citizens' assemblies and been able to implement change based on the outcomes of this as part of our democracy. Um, minister, I suppose the lived experience is also a really key model here. And I suppose the lived experience of people who have uh, you know, are taking drugs, people who have come through that, maybe people who have not been able to manage taking drugs and their families and impacts to wider society, I think really has to be taken into account. Uh, Minister, I suppose, as you state, no one is immune. Um, and I know in your role, and I know that we have spoken briefly on this, and, and it's something I would be looking to follow up on. But Minister, I suppose what I would be looking for in areas like towns across Ireland are addiction services. We know in Galway City, there's an addiction service currently, I think, piloted out for Galway City. Um, I suppose what I would be looking at is that something similar to that for the likes of towns, like say for example in Banaslo, I'm only speaking to my own experience here, but we know in Port Yonkla University Hospital, you know, I was only speaking with them recently, and you know, general manager telling me that the presentations there are so high in terms of people presenting around drugs, yeah, with, with drugs, with alcohol, that it's leading to more aggression within ED, which is already too small to handle everything because they've got all the trolleys and everything else. Um, I suppose what I'd be looking for along in parallel with this is maybe measures that we can look at around addiction services in alcohol in the community. And that could be in the likes of day hospitals, um, but particularly looking at the models that work well because what we have sometimes in areas where you're 20 miles away from the nearest town or 40 miles away from the likes of maybe the service in Galway, is that people can't access that. And every day in my office, I'm, I'm dealing with people and families of people who are suffering particularly from alcohol and how their families are impacted. I'm dealing with women who are in dangerous situations. I'm dealing with families trying to find homes, homelessness then happening. And I suppose what I'm looking for in particular from a rural perspective is maybe those addiction services, if they're working well, uh, is there a way that we can roll them out in the community where it's not based on maybe a primary diagnosis of mental health, but where it's based on if you are presenting and your GP is referring you for alcohol, that we're able to look at maybe rolling that out. So that's something hopefully we might be able to work on as well with your office minister. But uh, uh, again, just to say that I very much welcome this debate. It's really important to have that debate, but also to be able to look at how we can put measures in place as well as the Citizens' Assembly, which will roll its course. And I suppose my question on that would be just the timelines, Minister, that you might be able to speak to us about as well. Thank you.